All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. We're playing Ultima 7, The Black Gate. Um, you're doing it without my beautiful face again because I, I was actually... <laughs> this bad habit of being done for the day and wanting to play video games. But if it's something like this, which I'm... I, I have a tendency to tell my audience that I want to make a series out of something. And I'll get sidetracked by the fact that, for instance, um... I'm in a difficult spot where I go to school full time and I work full time and so on. And um, I'm just not quite sure, you know, how to handle hair and makeup and so on. I get a very negative response from uh, Run Yana, don't don't be dead, dude. Oh, please don't be dead. Hold on, can I move her? Cause this is like unfortunate. Maybe I can heal her. Is she dead? She's not dead. Okay, this is good. I finally capped the lich. I'm excited. Everyone's excited. Help. What is help? Oh, that's the one that teleports me. Cure, light, heal. I knew I had it. I can't use it. What do you mean I can't use it? I have to be able to use it. Am I not third level? This is unfortunate. Like, there's a fire field. She's laying in it. This is gonna go poorly. Yeah, no, I don't know what to tell you, honey. This is- there goes Iolo. Apparently the lich is not as hard to kill as I thought. Oh, Iolo's dead. Bye, Iolo. Bye. We just stick around for me, buddy. But yeah, so I don't really know how to, um, shoot, what was I on? Kind of balance that with different interests in Magical Cave, I bet. How to balance that with, um, you know, you're kind of always supposed to be on point. When I'm doing, um, FPSs in this sort of fun game, that sort of like, alone in the dark, or what else? I'm, I'm trying to think. So, alone in the dark, um, an FPS, just kind of that sort of, um, kind of nobody cares thing, then it's like, whatever. Do I not have that set properly? I bet you I don't. The things that you like remember as you go. It took me forever to even notice that option was available that I could set up um, and I did this last time so I'm not particularly shocked. That everything is going well because I have, you know, for instance, Fiona set up to run because she's low on hits and stuff like that. You just gotta remember to change them off. But you know, that, um, where you're allowed to look rough, that's fine with me. Like, we can go. But, if it comes to that sort of, um, you know, I'm supposed to look pretty for it. This is like a very well done graphic design and that sort of thing. Then I kind of feel bad if I wind up gutted on screen. Oh, there. Yeah, this is it for me. I should have just reloaded there. It sucks. I definitely capped the lich and then Jana fell in a fire field. That's unfortunate. Okay. I feel like I can make my way out of the dungeon. It's part of the allure. <laughs> it's the dungeon crawl. The before you're ready dungeon crawl. It's such a short run back out. I can so do this. I have some decent weapon and armor finally, weapons and armor finally, so I feel like I should make my way through it. Uh, come on! That, that guy doesn't look friendly, you shouldn't need me to do this. Just run, you know what, run through the magic field. Because why not? We're impervious to fire, right, Nini? Like, it doesn't fire. What is that even? I don't get it, like... I popped that lich in 30 se inside of 30 seconds last go around. Now I'm having the hardest time with them. This is actually fairly normal gameplay. <clears throat> this isn't at all weird for an Ultima. Um, there was a whole lot of saving. They give you, I think, what what is it, 10 save slots? So not, like I said, not at all strange. Definitely. I wonder if he has a key on him. You wouldn't happen to have a key on you, would you? Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. What's up now? And no key. I think I can blow it open. Oh, I need cure. Hold on. This one I actually have. 
Not on my watch, friend. We're gonna make this happen. No, I don't have cure. OMG, okay. Where's Jana? Come on back, honey. We'll pop the dove on. Come here. I need your potions. Is she dead? Did you die on me? You B word. Um, I think a lot of YouTubers go in and they do the... What I basically do is I live stream. I do something similar to a live stream, but I pre-record it. Um, one of the reasons that YouTube wanted us doing live streams is to give the personal interaction. Because your channel is supposed to be a lot more like a vlog um, than it is an actual TV channel. Because you don't have the FCC... A lot of people don't have the training. I actually technically do, ironically. Um, I have a degree from like a top 100 university in public relations. So um, I can get a surprising amount out of that. Come on, buddy. Running away, yeah? Oh, shterkos. Come on. Oh, get out of the fire field. Out. Out of the fire field. What's going to happen to you in that, huh? Is it going to be anything good? No. No, it's not. Up. On your feet there. Come on, Muffin. You can do this. We feel good about this. Up and at him. Oh, did somebody die? I'm actually used to him making like, fun of me more and letting me know when my companions die. I mentioned in the last cut that I was a little over my head in this particular situation. But yeah, so um, you'll see where, and the only thing that I'm missing out on is that, um, wow, right on the ground there, Jana, huh? Like, really just giving up on it. Just give up on life on me. I, I can't really run past him. Um, this is definitely a grind it game where, like, they really do expect you to be able to fight your way through the dungeon. I should never have come here. All right, let's see what we can do. Isle is gonna trip the lich. I'll go in. Guns blazing. See if I can take him out. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's hit me with lightning bolts. This is rough. Yolo, no. Spark, help us. Like a ten-year-old to help me out. But anybody who's played Diablo, etc., remembers just the... And it's a very similar setup. They use... I want to say... I really want to say they use Crusader No Remorse's engine. Um, because it looks so much like it. It's kind of hilarious to me. So... Is this the whole thing? Did Janna escape alive? Is she dead somewhere? Okay, now we have to save. Because I am getting out of this place. I'll even save over. I don't care. I'll go, I'll have someone resurrected if they're dead. Oh, I picked up Shimino last time. I did have a different save game. I think I let myself die and picked up a Shimino. I would, and there is no key, so. God, I feel brilliant today. I'm trying to remember if I went behind. Did I go along behind one of my save games? I know I had him walking to Minoc. Jana has cool stuff now. But yeah, I went through and I talked to a bunch of people. And I, could I possibly have quit without saving? That seems so not like me. I think I did though. This is mildly hilarious. Jana has cool stuff now. Item shop, money, picking up my stuff. Fellowship shelter money. I'll be darned. I did, too. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, at least I saved afterwards. So, um, what, where were we at? We were walking to Minoc. Um, I wound up, what I did is I called it because, um, I got beat up so badly in this dungeon that I skipped past it, and I picked up Shimino, who I had forgotten was in Britain. Which is fine that I, oh, are you serious right now? Which is fine that I... Did we just go in, like, literally all different directions? 
I can't even see to loot the bodies. It's kind of fantastic. Um, there's my bedroll. So let's just catch some Z's. Let's do that. Hopefully there aren't too many monsters. I'll just park it right near dungeon. I'm sure it'll be fine. But my whole party needs rest, so. Um, we'll do the salad six hours. Oh, I don't think you heal unless you do eight. I kind of vaguely remember a rule like that. We'll just head straight away to Minak. I'm sure that I'll head back to Britain at some point and then we'll get Shimino. He's not like so integral for my quest. It would just be nice to have another person, which is fine. I got to trade in my ducats and whatever. Sell off some of my stuff. He would have just been another pack horse. Talking myself out of needing him. All right, you know what? We have a job to do. And unless it involves a magical carpet, I don't even want to know, okay? Where are we going with this? They're telling me monsters are near, but I'm not seeing them. All right, well, I guess not. I can probably switch you off of Runaway. You don't necessarily have to put yourself in harm's way. Oh, you have a Hellbird. You should probably close, though. Oh, right. And then the river I had to go around. Unless that's an ocean. That would be unfortunate. Oh, okay. Hold on. It looks like we can cross here. It looks like it, but it is not the case. Wow, is anybody else stymied by this? A bandit or a pirate? Do you have a skiff by chance? Cool, and you have neat stuff. Let's see what our what our peeps can use here. Um, inside your bag. Ooh, nice. So we have a couple gold nuggets. Got some gold. I am like so short on cash. It's one of the things they do to you in Britain. They have this really just seriously bad habit of dumping you with zero stuff. Um, thankfully, Lord British did um, give me the hookup on some stuff. But um, especially when new party members start out, it's just like rough. Won't fit. I am way over encumbered. Alright, he can probably have your hawk. So she needs a helmet. Do we all have boots? I think we all have boots, but I really want to grab them in case I pick somebody up. Oh, okay, I can carry those. That's good. How many daggers can I carry? Not not many. <laughs> not doing so hot here. Okay, so Spark can't fit anything. I can't carry anything. It's probably going to be too heavy. Also can't fit anything. Oh, you, Iolo. You fill up to the gills? Not quite. You got some room for some daggers. Alright. Can't afford to carry the leather jerkin, which is too bad, because it'll probably be, you know, 20, 30 gold. Same thing with the sword. That's what it is. What's a lone pirate doing out here? I'd like some backstory, sir. Oh, carting around this. What's in here? Okay, seven gold, what are you? Ilo, anything on some gold? What is this? Fishing rod, can I use that? I'm not gonna be able to carry it. Hmm, I mean, do I really need a fishing rod is the question. I can loot plenty. Jenna, you're new, you don't need to eat, right? I actually think I fed her separately. So now I'm going the wrong direction. I'm a little bit thrown here. I'm definitely headed west. Let's just, we'll break straight south and regroup. See what's going on here. Maybe we can find the road to, what is all this? When can we rest? We literally just rested Pop-Tart. Like what is going on with your life that you need rest? Tell me a story. Are you traumatized by the adventuring? And we're back around to the mountains. I thought there was a pass through them. Maybe I was incorrect. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> what is this? Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't actually know if we could take these guys. It's a problem. There's three of them. 
Might wind up with my free, free ride back to Britain after all. Wow, just some adventurers out with some pretty boss stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, a locked chest. What else do we have? So everybody's gonna get their duds. Um, who are we down to who doesn't have chainmail? Oh, Sparky. You're gonna be over encumbered inside of a heartbeat. Yep, two shakes of a lamb tail. Alright. Down a whole ham for me, honey, if you can. I definitely picked up way too much food and that makes me sad. Unfortunately, as you level up, you do get, you know... Why doesn't he have his bow equipped? Oh, he must have run out of the arrows, he did. Well, that's good that he popped that right off his belt. Nice move, Spark. So... Wow, I had all this stuff for cash, and now I can... Of course, the cash was to arm up, so I shouldn't complain. What am I going to do? Complain about it? It sure. No chainmail long johns for you. We could probably get rid of some of my van vanity items. Like, I don't really know that I need the kite. If I do, I'm sure I can find it now. <laughs> no. I definitely can't. Um... Do you not have a... Yeah, you don't have a chainmail hood. Alright. Oh, these guys have the hookup. So, let's see. What else? Plate mail. That's good news. Since I'm usually charging in the fray, I guess that'll be me. What, what else can I ditch out of this? Oh, I need to carry that to Elizabeth and Abraham. I'm, I'm still carrying clubs. That's distressing. This is all completely extraneous material. I don't even know if I can sell it. Ack. I had originally grabbed it as evidence, but, you know. Okay, that definitely fit in there. Cool. Great helm. Chain quaff. Oh, I have another suit of... Really? Too heavy? I'm surprised. Um. Gosh. They have all this great stuff that's so rough. Well, we're definitely going to have to pick up that. What else can I ditch? Another club. I could seriously loot here, and I just do not have... Well, somebody's getting the boomerang. Sorry. Although I suppose the hawk serves the same purpose, and it's not like... Hmm. Another club. At one point, this is my best stuff. And what else did we have in here? A sword. I mean, I could arm up with shields. Look at all these bedrolls. Food. We're just looting away here. No thank thee. No thank thee. What about you, Spark? You're a grown kid. Have a pumpkin. Whole thing. Down the hatch. I'll soon be plump. Assume you're carrying the rest of the food. So I would not concern yourself. Um, what else? What else? Uh, let's go ahead and save. We're out of the different interesting caves. So we're lost in the mountains. Nothing new, nothing shocking. I am actually not as turned around as I seem. I'm an expert at getting lost. So I know roughly where I am. I'm north of Britain and probably a little to the east. Um, so we will just keep messing around until we get that. I naturally preserve my lockpicks. That was unfortunate. Nobody saw that one coming. 17 gold. Food basket. What else do we have here? Oh, nice! Sparky, you got yourself a magic bow. Heck with this stuff. You are leveling up. I don't think he'll be able to carry the arrows. Will he? Yeah, too heavy. What can we ditch out of this? What is this? Proclamation, a document. Oh, okay, that's my deed. I need that. Lots of food, torch, sextant. Actually, kind of need most of this. I can probably ditch some of the food, ironically. Just picked you up. Do I do these things? 
I don't know why I automatically go for a, a balanced, healthy diet. Like, I automatically want fruits and vegetables in the diet for my character. It's kind of hilarious. Um, where's Iolo? He could use some crossbow corals. The level of detail that they included in um, things like crossbow corals and whatnot, given that they were still working with pixel rendering, was kind of awesome, um, simply because it, um, sorry, I'm thinking here, it afforded you so much more fun when you were looting, you know, like you really just got to enjoy picking stuff out and stuff like that. So here, we'll put some of this back. Here you go, friend. Have some back. I have my dried rations. I need them more than I need crossbow bolts. If you could stop yelling at me, that would be so awesome. Have a flounder, etc. Really use the crossbow bolt. There we go. I thought they were about ten per. Now what is this? Um. So he leveled up. He's got the magic bow. I am moving remarkably fast as far as loot goes now so that is super cool what is this because that is magical whatever it is <gasps> you are pretty what's this not a whole lot my money's kind of all spread out now i think that i'm set on chain mail i think everyone has one uh, i don't know that i can carry it that's unfortunate. I mean, it's not even a question of, oh, John, why do you not have chain mail? And you have too much stuff. Like I said, I gotta keep reminding myself, most of this, like most of the stuff that I was carrying around was specifically to sell off, you know, for stuff like, you know, I could probably get more out of life than a kite shield could offer me. They're heavy. I don't know if it's worth the weight, you know, as far as cash goes, you know, just straight money. Okay, so that is awesome. I now have the hookup. I feel like I could take down a lich easy now. Might be overconfident speaking, but I'm okay with that. So, did we get everything? I think we did. Oh, iron underpants, you don't have those either. Let alone a hood, my goodness, woman, what have you been running around in? What's all this? Um, I think at some point I need to pick, I don't think I ever need an hourglass. I can probably put down one of the black rock. If I have to, I'll just come back here and re-loot, re -loot, loot again. <laughs> Live to loot again. Um, but we should save up here. Given that we spent so much darn time. So yeah, like I said, we we did this, or I'm doing this mostly mountains, plural. Oh lordy, lost in the mountains, in in the vein of a let's or not a let's play of a live stream. Obviously, I don't have the comments coming in, um, which is fine. I would really want my, I would really want my um camera on for that I really just feel you get a whole lot more out of the interaction so oh we're running through wildflowers tra -la -la. Tra -la 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 -la. I feel like we're back at cove is anyone else getting that cove vibe that, like this is the polluted lake and all that good stuff all right well whoever it is is gonna get it we are armed and armored to the teeth now we're not afraid of nothing Nothing or nobody. I say as I like whack my way through the bush. Oh yeah, see there's the moon gate. Okay, so we are back at Britain. Well, let's pick up Shimino and then we can go grab some more of that loot. I can probably sell some of this off if I'm in time. So that the shops aren't closed. There's the Royal Mint. Do I have any nuggets? I don't think I killed any headless. Um, there's the museum, orchard, well, bakery, there we go. 
I vaguely remember that this is where I can sell things. You see a shrewd looking man who smiles as if he's just seen his next customer. Grace, my lady, a humble and honest man. Why, here in Britannia, I sell the best armor, weapons, and money can buy. In my spare time, I do deeds for the fellowship. It's been very beneficial in my life. I was on the verge of going out of business before I joined, and now I'm more prosperous than ever before. Interesting. As let us say, I'm very convinced my failures were all due to my bad attitude. I took the teaching of the, of the fellowship to change the way I used my mind and turn me in the proper direction. It's never sufficiently forward or aggressive enough to be as successful as a merchant, but the fellowship has changed all that for me. By applying the values of the triad of the inner strength of my life, I've accomplished what I've set out to do with my life. My armor and weapon shop is successful, and I have a place where I belong in the fellowship. I don't actually... I would like to sell something. No. Who do I sell to? I don't sell to you? That's unfortunate. I thought for sure I did. Okay. Maybe to the provisioner? That's a jeweler. Can I, who can I sell to? Will you buy for me, friend? Hi, Coop. Job. Manager of Violos Bows. Buy. Wow, where do I sell these off? That's interesting. Um, there must be a provisioner or something. This is going to be significantly more difficult than I thought. See a man whose boyish face is set with scrutinizing eyes that seem as though they've seen too much. My name is Sean. While not attending the Fellowship Affairs, I'm a jeweler here in Britain. If let us wish to buy something, say so. No. Please browse this without us like. Sure must be on my way. So, he's also fellowship. Oh, that stinks. Okay, I really had thought that... What's in here? Who are you, friend? Friend? Where are you going, friend? Just hanging out in the kitchen, huh? You see a very authoritative looking older man who looks at you with thoughtful concern. My name is Kessler. I run the apothecary shop here in Britain. Normal function of apothecary is to administer potions, magical reagents. I'm nowadays working almost exclusively for Lord British... Trying to study a specific problem. Recently, there's been a dramatic rise in the use of a very strange substance. People have begun to purposefully, purposefully ingest the venom of the silver snake. The silver snake produces a venom that's extremely poisonous, but when taken in less than lethal amounts, it can cause a variety of strange effects. For a time, the venom will heighten one's physical and mental performance, such as allowing one to work harder, for example, but after the effects have worn off, it will impair the user permanently. It first makes the user feel extremely tired and then eventually causes a sloughing in the skin. The venom is a dangerous substance and thou shouldst not partake of it under any circumstances. Selling the effects of a particular... Oh, okay, we already did this. I encountered a number of difficulties. Greatest difficulties in finding any significant quantity of silver snake venom is by no means my only difficulty. People need to be alert of how, about how dangerous it is. To this end, I wish to announce my findings for Lord British and Consortium of Lords and Mayors, but to do that, I must first finish my studies. By any chance I would come across any silver snake venom, please bring her back to here. I'll pay thee 50 gold coins for every vial of it thou canst supply. As one might surmise from the name, it's venom taken from a dangerous silver snake. The fascination many people possess for these creatures has created a great deal of curiosity about the venom itself. There are those who claim the gargoyles take the venom, which results in their becoming enhanced in combat and such. This may be just a myth, but the curiosity of people feel is real enough. It's certainly not a recent invention. Poken potions are liquids that possess certain magical qualities which are used for all sorts of purposes, such as the treatment of in in injury and disease. I have a quantity of them for sale if I are interested. Apothecary is closed. It's open from noon to midnight. Thou mayest return then. It's good speaking with thee. Well, it's certainly not after midnight, so it must be before noon. Hey, it's Shimino. Marbly that he's progressing to what some might call middle age. Hoped it would be adventuring with me. I'm wary of loitering about Britain. There's much we could be accomplishing. Please tell me what brings thee here. Murder intrinsic. I'd be honored to join and help thee in investigating this matter. I'm so glad thou didst ask me. Alright, thou didst ask. Thou didst ask me. Alright, so we can go back and pick up some more junk for him. Unless he came really well equipped. He did not. He came like not equipped. Hit a backpack. What is this? Bringing your mug with you. Practical person. You're thinking. Alright, so we're gonna go north of the fields then? Is that? No, we go around the lake. Okay. So 
So there's the lake. Oh, wolves! I can't stand when people don't make that mistake. Krakos, on the other hand, will attack you. We actually had um, a lovely pond by my house. I used to love walking back there, but it had a sign, you know, beware of crocodiles. It was down south. Thanks, guys. They taste just like chicken. Oh, yuck. I don't want to get poisoned. It's like, it's a toss-up whether you want magic boots or swamp boots. With all the crap that's floating around Batrani these days. Oh, no. I better save. I'm getting into an awful lot of combat. And I am still technically lost in the mountains. I was directly above Britain, though. Which was not too bad. I'm not too badly off there. Fairly accurate com combat simulator. Jana runs out of hit points like immediately. Thanks, Jana. Thanks for all your help. Is there something following me? Oh, for. You know, if it's one crocodile, you would think it could just off itself. Like, save us the time and trouble of even going into combat mode. Do you really have to do that? Because that's strictly necessary. What is this? Is this the wellspring from which I flow? What happens if I step on you? I love that my curiosity includes incredibly suicidal tendencies sometimes. Oh my god, they came back. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, Jana, are you down already? Can we not talk about this? I go to go loot them, and they're alive. What is that even? That must be some sort of... I wonder if it's a permanent encampment. Like I said, if they don't actually give me backstory, then I will just go right on in there and do it my darn self. So... I suppose we should armor, arm and armor Shimino. Poor, poor boy. Oh, he did it himself. Well, you're an intrepid young fellow. You have a halberd. You could use that to good advantage, dear. Like, seriously. Great for killing slime. What's up, Neen? Alright. So we're about to encounter a hellacious fight here, and I'm not quite sure how to handle that. Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and save. I can't believe I dropped so fast. Um, still lost in the mountains. I'm not going to play pretend here. That's what's real. I have the map right on my wall, so it's not, you know, I'm not hopelessly lost here. We're a little bit lost. I literally just walked into this bandit cabin. Where the heck did it go? Yeah, there it is. Okay. What is that? Do you see that thing? What is that? Oh, it's a doggy. <gasps> Don't make me kill puppies. No, I object. Wait, did I just win this or no? This is, I feel kind of up in the air about this. I keep winning. I am continuously winning this battle. Okay. Well, either way. Here's some gold. You can yell at me all at once now. We'll give you a backup weapon, Shimino, because every man should have one. Ditch this. Get a better buckler. Could probably carry that. Um, what's in here? Some gold. I think you need a backup sword. I mean, hypothetically, you could have one, but I don't think it's strictly necessary. Can you carry my kite string? I'm convinced I'm going to need this kite at some point. I'm not quite sure why. I feel like it's actually technically from another Ultima that I'm having this overwhelming urge to have that, but that's okay. We're going to indulge it. Like 1,000% okay with it. Alright, we'll carry a spare suit of armor. A couple chain quaffs. See what we can sell off. We'll just load them down. We have another pack horse to cart stuff around. Hmm. I don't think I left anything in particular here that was like moving. I want my hourglass. So there. Too heavy. No on the black rock. No on the spare black rock, friend. Okay, so up into the right should take us on through. What is blocking my way? Okay. Nothing. <laughs> My own imagination, or lack thereof. Alright, so when I came back around, I was 
Oh, is this the interesting cave? You won't lure me in, interesting cave. I'm on my way to Minak and nothing can stop me. All right, so I definitely hit the ocean. This is interesting. Did I go too far north? I don't think so. Maybe I'm recalling the map incorrectly. I have, it's like 10 feet from me. I should really just get up and look. So there's the second cave. Kind of dudded out. I could probably take it, but I don't think that I need to. That might be the one with the exploding fireballs. That was a piece of work. And then I hit the beach. So, yeah. At that point, I can't go around. Okay, so the mountains are blocking my way east. Well, northeast anyways. Maybe I can head southeast. Let's try and end around. Let's see if we can cut through Cove. I had assumed that, you know, this would be the way around, but maybe it's not. I just kind of vaguely remembered going this way. It's always the interesting thing about um, playing something that you've played before. The trees were incredibly diverse and well rendered. I love this angle of play. Um, I think it's why people love, for instance, Farm, or what was it, not Farm, is it Farmville? Stardew Valley, that's what it is. For some reason, this particular angle just makes for great um, gameplay. So, I'm not at all shocked that this took off, and so did that. I wonder if I can cross there. It's going to be a magical crossing point, no. A bridge, maybe, perhaps. Oh, Stiercos. You can wind up poison from that. It is no joke. And Spark did. Of course he did. It will wear off, but I have to keep an eye on his health. Experience hits. He has 13 hit points. I wish they had, you know, like magical snozberries or something that would really just solve this issue for us. Slime is such a waste of my life. I mean, it can poison you. He knows to stay. Yeah, he's program to stay back. It does damage for like no reason. It can split instead of dying. Like if you drop it down to about three hit points, it splits instead of actually dying. So it's impossible to kill. That will regret this day. Please, Shimino, no one will think the less of thee. Did I use up all my crossbow bolts already? Yeah, see it's splitting and splitting and splitting, which is great for experience, but I feel I feel plenty experienced about fighting slime. Like, I'm a thousand percent okay with it. Am I trying to run away or hit you? What is going on here? Thou will pay for this. She'll have thine head. Thou will regret this day. Thou will rue the day that we're born. Okay, you know what? I'm just... We're all done with the slime. We're, we're running away. Come on. Let's go. Chop, chop. Let's go, children. Let's get you to do a healer, Jana. Double time it. No, we don't we don't have time for you. I'm sorry. Some other time. We're heading to a healer and a crocodile, because why wouldn't there be? Let's go. Jana, if you die on me, I'm gonna be angry. I'm letting you know this. Shoo. Shoo, Mr. Wolf. We're heading towards civilization. There are other humans. You can't go over a bridge. It's a demon spirit wolf. That explains so much. Is there a healer in this town? I feel like there is. I also feel like she's going to kill me if I don't go over this bridge properly and fast. Wait, does she have services that she can offer me? What's your job? Been the cove healer. Heal. Able to hear cure. Yes, I'm interested. I'm interested in you curing poison. For yourself. <gasps> she can't cure it for herself? Nobody healing is serious business. She can't... Wow. That's nuts. So the only person she can't resurrect. But she'll just heal there, like sit there and heal all day long. That is so crazy. So there's not going to be another healer. Hold on, let me see if I can pop her a potion. Then. What do we have for health here? Oh, she has like one hit point left. So this better happen. Oh! <gasps> Oh no, okay, well she can use the healing potion and I can just buy another. It's alright, sweetie. You're gonna make it. The effects will wear off, so. Hi, nice still. I'm glad I didn't loot all your black rock because I'm kind of at an impasse here. Haha, <laughs> good joke. 
Do I have to sail to Vinok? I don't recall having to do that. Where is Vesper? Is it south of here? God, remembering things like directions is rough. Alright, so there's this one. There's the flippin' lake. I'm surprised she's not immune to its effects. She, she, she should be, like, poison-free. Can I do cure? Do I, like... I don't have that level, do I? It's too bad I don't have a trainer. Oh, I do have cure, okay. And you're all better. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Sitting here able to help them, totally not doing it. Oh, thank goodness, there is the mountain pass. Whoa! That's not a mountain pass at all. What is that? I get so excited when I find things. Oh, that's observations on black rock. Whoa. Hold on, let's do light. Let there be, holy cow. What is this? Oh. Oh, it's going down for real. All right, so who do we have that could be hurt? Now that we know that Jana has these magic powers, Hello? Where have you been all my life? I have 17 hits. Shimino's pretty beat up. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm very beat up. What do you got for me, girl? You got anything at all? Anything left in ya? Has it been a minute? Yeah, I'm sorry I must wait a while before I can heal again. I better save, even though I'm technically still lost in the mountains. Trying to find a pass. That's nothing new. Anybody as much as read fantasy knows that one. Trying to find a pass. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I do wish to save over. I even thought the buttons were extraordinarily well designed. There's seriously just something about this whole setup that absolutely reeks of, like, this is fun to play. Killing's fun. Looting's fun. It's all fun. Too heavy. What is all this? It's just garbage. I like to search things. Locked. Um, did I just save? I did. Preserve my precious lockpicks. Food! I was just thinking about food. I'm always thinking about food. I work out so I can eat, like, a ridiculous amount of cookies. It's the number one reason that I stay fit. Some people do it for their health. I like cookies. No, thank thee. Oh, are we still full up? We'll soon be plump. Growing boy. Can I offer you a lesser meal? Okay. Nope. Nada. Not happening. Oh. You got room in there? No? How about you? Always room for food, right, kiddo? Spark notes, what's up? Is there a way through? I really shouldn't have doubled back. Like, that was not a priority. Well, I think, you know, there's a little human stew going on. What do you think is there? They seem to have some sort of a layout here. There's water. Is that a maze? What's going on? Oh, Keltrops! Stercos. Um, okay. Fudge. They were the invisible ones, but they're like so visible against the brown, I can't believe I missed them. <sighs> this is unfortunate. Okay. Just walk straight across them. Ooh, there is a way through the pass here. I thought I remembered that. I am so excited. Watch me die now. Now that I know. Okay. So we have some sort of a fall monster. Jana, can you heal me? Like, I just I just wanted to ask. Like, I was just putting it out there. I'll, I'll trail behind then. I'll catch up with you guys. Okay? Sound like a plan? There's no monsters. Who are these guys trying to fool? We're just going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Deeper into the mountains. 
and deeper and deeper. I don't know why I find dungeons horribly entertaining. I regret nothing. What are you, friend? Oh, don't tell me I can't pick it up. I want it. All right, gold nuggets. They're worth 10 gold a piece, so he can't fit it or he can't carry it? It won't fit. What is it you're carrying? Oh, he's carrying his crossbow is why. That's all right. It's okay, old man, we'll just do that. Ran out of arrows, glass item. Won't fit my great aunt Tilly's behind. How about that? Can you carry that and swing a mace? I feel good about this. We are totally leveling up on, oh my Jesus, Mary and Joseph Cyclops. To the death. It usually is. Like, generally, once you go, it's go on go. So. What are we doing here? Adventuring is pretty apt. We'll just leave that. I can bash that open. John, are we getting ahead of ourselves? Honey, come back. Seriously. Save some monsters for the rest of us, okay? I was waiting for pick to break, like I just knew it. Like my luck has been way too good. They know my trick. It's like you're just gonna reload anyways, we'll just open it. And that's true, friend. I am going to reload, but nobody rolls a twenty that many times. Again? I love continuously winning. <laughs> we won again. Go us. And a third time. Just keep playing new victory music. I'm actually not that dude, but it's fine. Yeah, I had a bad feeling about that being one of the exploding ones. You got room for ducats? Too heavy. Come on, don't insult the treasure gods. Oh, what do we have in here that we can ditch? How about that? You don't need your mug. You need gold. I like to keep my priorities straight here. And do we really want to go through the whole thing with lockpicks again? No, we don't, friend. So let's save. I vaguely recall being able to talk to one of the Cyclopses, so I don't know if I just missed out on that opportunity or if, you know, his brethren just don't give a crap. Like. Okay, so there's another chest. Another opportunity to waste about 30 saves. It's easiest if you're just directly by it, because then you can just grind through. But um, there is a reason why I'm never unable to unlock a chest. It is because I will absolutely save first. Um, you kind of learned a little bit of that in Daggerfall, where if you stood directly next to a loot pile, you could reload as many times as you wanted, and you could actually eventually get an ebony weapon. Um, so that was pretty awesome. It was never the case that you couldn't level up fast enough, as long as you were looting and adventuring, um, as, far, as far as your equipment went. So, that was a nice feature. Unlock? No. Maybe I should sacrifice one pick, just for reality's sake. I'm not- no, we're not doing two. I said one. <laughs> My computer's bargaining skills suck. It's not happening for you, friend. I was willing to do one for reality's sake, not two picks. What What is up with my skills? Am I wounded? Am I doing this like with a broken flipping funny bone? Wow, they really are going to tear through my packs, huh? That one might actually require a key. I can't remember if this was one. There, there was definitely, I mean, I've, obviously I've played approximately 5 million games, so it's kind of hard to go wrong when I make sweeping statements like this, but there was definitely one, and I think it was an Ultima, where if there was a key to it for some reason, every single pick broke. And that was just the way it was. That's how you figured out that there was a key to it. I get this really bad feeling that there's a key to this. So I'm going to do something rash. I'm going to blow up my party. Because why not? I have my priorities. I thought you could bash these open. Maybe I'm incorrect. I'm apparently incorrect. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna keep breaking my picks. I must have a lock. 
I wonder if I'll be sent back here on a quest for it then. Okay. Well, stymied by an uh, intense lock, which has nothing to fear for me. I head back the other way. Two arms! You know, you, if you're gonna battle cry, just like go for it. You don't need my approval. Don't feel that you do. By all means, if there's a, an enemy coming at you, you know, go for it. Oh my god, did you see him poured in? Like, there was not a Cyclops there before. Back me up on this. Jana, don't be dead, dude. Oh, for F's sake. Another chest. And I don't want to save. Hold on. Let me let me see how many of my scrappy little friends I lost here. Holy cow. Well, I think they just dropped Shimino, so... Apparently we're loading, reloading. On the upside, if for some reason you hadn't saved for a while, all you really had to do in combat if you were completely screwed is die, and they would resurrect all your party members. The other option was to go cart their body back, so that was a good time. You can, I can rest, and Jen will be able to heal again. I wonder how long that takes her, like if it's an hour of her heal. Or, I should really chart that one out. Let's wait a while before I can heal again. Okay. Alright, so we have a major melee here, but I feel good about this. I can usually tell these guys inside of three seconds. Shimino falls down on the job. Nothing new. Your constant disappointment. Constant disappointment to me here. I think the only place that these can be exchanged is Britannia, which is unfortunate. Do I have anything I can ditch? What are the odds that that's like more than won't fit? Um, what's this? Do I need these? What am I carrying in here that I don't need? Those are reagents. I definitely need those. Won't fit. Oh, again, we have the don't fit, won't fit problem. Hmm. Seems to happen whenever I have a bag, but I'm certainly not going to take that food and just like spray it all over the place. So, daggers it is. Bye bye, daggers. Bye bye. Really? Still, you won't fit. Seems unnecessarily stubborn of you. How about you, woman? You holding back anything that you want me to know about? You want to carry Aulo's crossbow or anything? Anything at all that you can help me with? Oh, I bet you I could put that there. I can't. I bet incorrectly. Thank you. Alright. So if I were heading back to Britain, this would be awesome because I am now encumbered by gold nuggets. But I am not, so it is, you know, needless to say, not awesome. That set of griefs, however, is. Who is it who has stuff they can throw around? Is it you? Who's the iron underpants there, bro? You're getting the secondary hookup. You know what? I think that Ilo can have the magic stuff. I feel good about it. Leather collar. I'm gonna have a fashion statement going on here. Nothing in there. Nothing carries nothing. Don't walk through the fire or anything crazy. Oh, there's the chest key. <gasps> Who's excited? Jana's. Flaming oil. We'll make room for flaming oil. Small rock. Just like to store a small rock with all of our loot. Just in case. Feeling better, Shimino. You're popping up now that that chest is gonna open. Got some gold ducats. We can save, safely save over this one. Oh, I bet you have to fight that Cyclops again. Did you regenerate when I wasn't looking? Because that's just rude. Just a heads up. Is this the key that I grabbed? It is not. Hold on, who did I give that to? Do you have my key? Okay. Same color. I got a little confused. A magic wand! That's got your name all over it, honey. Alright, so we're getting ready to duke it out. 
If we get any heavy hitters, we're good to go. What else? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Gold ducats. Be the end of me, ducats. Be the end of me. Oh, is it? Which way is it? Which way are we going here? I'm like always at the forefront. Nothing on this guy. Shimino, don't be dead, dude. Did I go south already here? I feel like I did. Alright, there's that. That's a dead end. Well, clearly I did not, or else I would have noticed the very large and annoying roundabout. Oh, okay. You know what? Bye. No, hold on. There's much we could be accomplishing. Where have they been? Okay, you know what? This is not the time. That was the wrong mouse click. I want you to run away now. Run away. Or carry some ducats. <laughs> no! I know that some of you can carry these. Don't pretend you can't. Okay, um... Odds of me being able to exchange the chain mail versus the odds of me being able to exchange the gold. I just feel like the odds are better. I'm gonna run face first in another one of these suckers, I just know it. I'm already slowing down. There's foul play afoot. For over a rat? Really? I don't even know if I can hit you without hitting my other party members. Vultures will pick your bones! You spook a little bit there, Iolo. I sensed a little bit of spooking. All right, so what we want to do is pop out the eastern side here. That was kind of the point of this whole exercise before we got excited, distracted, many other things. Because this is where we want to be. I'm convinced that those are magical portals. I don't know if anyone else is feeling that. All right. We're on our way, so... We'll go ahead and save. So we are headed, we're back on track to Minoc. So back on track to Minoc. We're approaching the hour mark, so maybe another 20 minutes tops, and then I'll cut it. We'll see if we can't get to, really? Headless, just hanging out. Never understood how they got anywhere anyways. Fine. Discretion and all, Shimino. It's all good. We're just gonna head due east. This is why I constantly get lost. Complete and total disregard of any need for anything like landmarks. Landmarks. Oh. Well, we'll all be ready to train, so that's a good thing. Hopefully they will have some sort of exchange. Otherwise, it could be problematic. He's running away. We'll let him go. Again? Or still? Is it like the same ones? Do I still have all of my people? It's one of the bigger questions here. Alright, there's a silver leaf tree. There's another silver leaf tree. Now we're in the desert. Oh, those are scorpions. You know what? I don't want to deal with today. It's scorpions. You guessed right. I don't want to deal with scorpions. No, that's a negative. Is... Oh my god! Like, really with the scorpions? Is Minoc the mining company? Please? Is that what that is? What are the odds I can just bust through here? I can't. It's blocked by slime. Alright, you know what? It's two slimes. Just make it happen. Some of these people are beat up. I should really be back in the mountain. Instead of sighing. Giving a huge sigh. Irritation. Alright, form up. We're just breaking through. Passing through. Alright, so we really are gonna just dip into the desert here. No, friend, I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not equipped to deal with scorpions today, I'm sorry. It's not happening for you. Where is, there is a desert just like hanging out here. When did this happen? Does anybody want to clue the avatar into what's going on? Can I throw around my title? I'm heading straight away from you. No scorpions today. I'm not getting poisoned. I'm far from a healer. Oh, this is gonna turn out well. Where is Minoc? 
Here, Minock. Ooh, we got buildings. Okay, where is this the Minock Mining Company place? Is this what they meant? Okay. Town Hall. All right, you'll know where we are. No, friend, come back. You see a short woman with a distracted look on her face. Breaking from her work, the woman turns to you long enough to respond, my name is Liana. I'm the mayor's clerk. I'm responsible for keeping track of official records and documents in Vesper. Oh, I made it to Vesper. I like the town, but it is so far from Britain, it attracts some truly unusual people. I respect Austin in an official capacity, but she adds raising her eyebrows as the mayor. He's far too spineless. He's afraid of taking sides on any issues. I don't think he should have volunteered for the election. There's Cater, Yavella, Zach, some those are the normal ones. There's a couple of strange ones, Mara and Yangi. And there's Blorn, he's a mean one. And well, of course there's Eldroth and the Gargoyles. Cater's the head of the mining company. Yavella's Cater's wife. Zaxum's a trainer, quite a good fighter. Mara, she needs to learn how to act like a woman. Her manly attitude does not fool anyone. Yangi is nothing more than drunk. The only reason he opened a tavern was to have an excuse to purchase large amounts. I'll call it a wholesale price. And do not ask him about it, gargoyles unless thou dost want him to talk your ear off. He hates them almost as much as Blorn does. There's a troublemaker and a thief if I ever saw one. He needs to think about leaving town quickly if he knows what's best for him. There is one thing I like about him though, he hates gargoyles more than anyone else. Eldroth is nice, but he's a doddering old fool. I do not think he has had a brain for more than a decade. Now there's a disgusting creature for that. I think they were a better name back when we called them daemons, in fact. So that she's part of the Purity League then. That's unfortunate. On the upside, there is a boat here that will take me to Minog. Like, let's focus. I don't need any vittles. I'm avoiding your entire town's problems. I'm not even going to lie about it. There is Lord British's boat. So let's see if we can get around the coast and up to Minog. So. Um, I think the gangplank is blocked. It's blocked by your butt. Alright, what do we have down here? <clears throat> Healing potions galore. Excellent. Uh, black rock. I can store black rock in the hold. And you can load up on healing potions. I love the GIC liquor hanging around there. Never let it be said that Lord British didn't know how to have a good time. Plenty of food. Okay, so we are stacked. We'll keep a spare black rock in the hold, just in case. I don't have to, like, travel all the way back. Alright, so... Got LB's boat. Save away. Let's rock and roll. Who wants to go sailing? I know I do. All right. So we should be able to sail straight around and up to Minoc. Straight is, of course, a relative term. And I have serious problems with navigation. As we previously mentioned, I get curious a lot as well. So there's that. I think I can park it anywhere that there's shore. Just smash it in the mountains. It doesn't seem to mind. Whoa. Yeah, this is a very large lake. Okay, it's not. Is that a sea monster? I don't want a sea monster. Wait, do I have an attack function? I kind of vaguely remember cannons. There's a deer. So I drove straight up away from there. There's the mountains. And then I should be... Let me park and see where we are here. Is this worse than like a three-point turn? Can I parallel park this sucker? I don't think I can. Hold on. Oh wow, I can't... I literally can't park there. Interesting. Having a logistical error here. Nope. Nope. Not happening. Okay. So... Oh, that's, there's docks. So, you know, that's it seems like a natural... Anybody else feel like this is the natural place to park? Like maybe we should park on the docks. I don't know. 
Maybe you're prepared for us. Who are you, friend? I see a young man dressed in an expensive tunic. It's very serious. My name is Owen. It's name I expect that shall be hearing in the future. While I certainly forgive thy poor manners, for I know how privileged I must feel meeting me. Thou must know the two people have just been discovered in the sawmill having been murdered. That's right. The sawmill is located southeast of the town. Almost everyone in the town is down there. Should probably go down there if thou dost want to find out more. I poor violence. Tired of benefiting from my presence very well, I, s I shall see thee again. Sure. Guess we're heading southeast of the town then. That's unfortunate. Oh wow, there's a cave. Can I sail a ship into it? That's all I want to know. Does it come equipped with a skiff? Can I buy a skiff? Oh right, murder. Got it. Stand target. Can I sell my stuff here? <laughs> a little bit scatty right now. Just went for my first sale. Oh, they have a bookstore. That's awesome. I love erudite towns. Bucket. Probably for trash. Lighthouse. Food smells good. Come on, guys. Give me a clue where the lighthouse is. Oh, okay. Oh, did he say sawmill? Okay, I heard lighthouse. Wait, wait, friend. Don't go anywhere, friend. See a stealthy looking woman dressed all in green. There's a wicked grin on her face. Karenna and nothing else. Teacher and Minnick along with Jacker. Shocking. Such things do not normally happen here. It well proves the value of knowing how to defend oneself. Establishment is now closed. You have got to be the other guy then. Feel like he's sizing you up. Yeah, that's Jacker. Named after a general from ancient times in Caesarea. Or is this a city of commerce? Well, its primary trade seems to be gossip and envy. For those murders, the latest local scandal been statue to be built of Owen the shipwright. I've known Owen as long as anyone in this town several years ago. Three ship city belt sank. Brother of Carl, one of our resident, more colorful local resident, excuse me, residents was killed. No investigation was ever made into the cause of the sinkings. Owen once confided in me that he secretly blamed himself. He started drinking heavily, eventually took up with the fellowship. Suspect the killer or killers are from out of town and probably long gone by now. It's not been a local murder for some time before now. A fair measure of prosperity has made the people here mostly tolerant of each other. That's why the gypsies settled here. Apparently, the apparent lack of motive is puzzling. You better ask Karenna. She's a good friend with the gypsies and would know more about them than I. I doubt that anyone in our community is a killer. If a stranger or strangers involved were to remain for too long after the crime, they'd soon be revealed. Therefore, the killers are no longer in town. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Um, did they say the mill? I'm a little bit lost here. I see a young bewitching gypsy woman with wide, soul peering eyes. Margaret at thy service, she speaks slowly. To tell thy destiny. Fortune will cost you 20 gold. I'm not sure. Crystal ball is very murky. I see thou must join the fellowship if thou want. Vantis to learn more about them and discover their true nature. It is not very clear. Ah, yes. There is a new evil that threatens Britain. I see that thou shalt reckon with it in the future. The crystal ball tells me. The ether of the world that controls magic has been affected by the new evil presence. I see further of this evil presence will gain, gain greater power during an event in the near future. This event has something to do with the, the planet. Seek out a man at the observity and observatory and moon glow to learn more about this. See that he has a device that will be useful to thee. See him soon for this event is drawing near. What is this? I see that I'll seek a man with a hook. It's not thy true adversary, but finding him will be necessary to complete the ultimate quest. Wait, I see that I must seek an audience of the Time Lord. He's in trouble, though I cannot see what the trouble is. The Time Lord knows much about this new evil, so do not fail to seek him out. To find the Time Lord, thou must first meet the Vis who live in the forest of you. They are they best linked to him. Amongst the Vempathabi, you may know how to contact the Vis. The ball has grown dark. I see no more. Dodo's face more dangers ahead. With those words, Margareta slumps and closes her eyes to rest. She's obviously exhausted. Interesting. But not particularly enlightening. Where's the dead bodies? In the best possible way. I'm getting sleepy. Me too. That's because it's dark out. But chop chop. We have some dead bodies to investigate. Why do you, like, insist on walking away from me? Handsome looking creative man. I'm called Sierra, my lady. A pleasure to meet you. Member of a local, local artist guild. 
Other members of Zathia and Gladstone, you can purchase some of the finest crafts available anywhere in Britannia there. I, for example, make clocks. Minak, under the, till the monument was to be built and all these murders, I believe the town to be a good place to live. Xanthi is a very talented young woman. She makes elaborate and distinctive candelabras. Gladstone's a sculptor and a glass floor. He also is in charge of most of the business decisions for the guild. Make all types of clocks and watches that tell the time reliably to the second. Be happy to sell the one right now, but I have a two-year backlog to fill. So he was supposed to get a statue. Hor this is horrible. Frederico and Tanya were looking for their son, Sasha. He'd run away to join the fellowship. How could this have happened to them? Met him a few weeks ago when he came to town looking for the local fellowship branch. Once let him stay the night at the guild. He said his father would beat him if he knew he was thinking about joining the fellowship, and I believed him. Sasha's father could be a crow man. He's basically a good lad, just looking at the truth like a lot of us are. Unfortunately, he's looking in the wrong place. The camp is just outside of town. There are not too many of them left. I understand that Sasha's aunt, Margarita, is an amazing fortune teller. For a few gold coins, she can tell thee many things that would be very useful to thee. Thou had best ask Glads Gladstone about that. The Fellowship is a philosophical group devoted to the teachings of a truly great man at Batlin. In the absence of the Avatar, Batlin has become a sport of sort of spiritual father for the people of Britain through his features and writing he's changed the lives of many people including my own no I am not a member or anything like that but I've heard the basic speech from Sasha so many times that I haven't memorized I never tried to dissuade him from joining the fellowship even though I have no belief in it I think Sasha enough is old enough I think Sasha is old enough to start making his decisions for himself now I truly not regretting sending him home the moment that I saw him Pleasant day to thee. See, Julia, a member of your party of adventurers from one of your previous visits from Britannia. It's really been that long, the wolf, to say, Julia. Since accompanying thee on thine adventures when thou were last in Britannia, I'm a tinker of Minak. I repair things for the poor people of the town, but my duties and obligations are not so pressing as to prevent me from joining thee again, shouldst thou wish it. After all, when thou art in Britannia, those usually come to repair very important things to help put the world to rights. Who is this fine young lad? My name is Spark Milady. Well, he's a cute one and so well-mannered. Spark turns beet red. Aye, it would be my pleasure. pleasure. Goodbye, the wolf. What's your name? Okay, this is Gladstone. He's a glass blower and a sculptor. He mostly makes bottles. And in time, I've constructed all manner of statuary out of glass as well. Interesting. Regret I do not have any other work for sale. I have a backlog. Keep me busy for the foreseeable future. They're on display at the guild hall. The artist guild is a group of local craftsmen who sell their wares in Minnock. Tentatively, the guild had active commerce here. In recent weeks, I've come to fear we might not keep it going very much longer. Like the Fellowship Romans Monument, we do not have very much political power, and other events make our troubles seem less important. Surely thou hast heard about the murders of Frederico and Tanya. I shudder to think such foul deeds are so freely committed in our fair town, or they are investigating it. I wish they all had success in tracking the culprit. I really knew Frederico or Tanya, but I didn't meet their son Sasha once. We befriended Sierra and stayed the night with us. He seemed like a nice young man, but misguided. The artist guilds and Britannian talk tax league are at odds. Owen commissioned a statue of himself. Grievously missed calculated by thinking that if we boycotted the statue would not be built. You know, the talk of it has made Owen into something of a bizarre legend in this area and the bloody statue hasn't even gone up that gone up yet. Once the statue is built, orders for the ship building are bound to increase even more. It won't be long until all the local commerce is affected and the prices will go up at the sh sawmill which will put the artist's guild into bankruptcy. They don't like the fellowship. They refused You've refused Elena's invitation, and they dislike us because they consider us to be indisposed towards unity. Oh, it's not looking good for you guys there to skilled. You're just gonna walk, walk like right in there. Hello. Culture manner is tinged with arrogance. Thou has just missed them. They were here collecting funds. They moved on to pause to visit our shelter there. Oh, that's Elena. Okay, I have something for you, hon. She's head counselor. Highest potential, unity, trust in thy brother. Now recall a message Batlin sent to thee. Thou hast a package, thou mayest relinquish it now. Her eyes shift to you from you to the package and back again. Surely thou hast been instructed not to open the package, have thou opened it nonetheless. Thou's done very well, now it's promised here is thy payment. 
Started with the business and the murders behind us, Minnick will soon Minnick will soon be known throughout Britain as the city where majestic ships are built. It's even going to be a statue erected in the center of town honoring our shipwright Owen. He's a skilled and valued member of our community, and of course, a fellowship member. He's a classic adventure an example of the difference a fellowship makes in the lives of others. See an old man whose domineering disposition matches his hardened, the hardened physique of his aged body. My name is Gregor, in charge of the Minak branch of the Min Britannia Mining Company. Produces a wide variety of minerals. Our town is a major center of trade in Britain and is a place of social change. Here in Minak, we're erecting a monument, master craftsmen, a very active fellowship branch. Done immeasurable good, help counter counter the disunity that can plague a town such as ours where many people are fixated on monetary gain. Helped organize things with Mayor Burnside. It would be huge and made of the finest ore from our mine. Here in Minnick we have one of the largest mining operations, a sawmill and inn and artists guild. Long standing and profitable business, it'll become more renowned for the murders that were committed than for the fine work it does. The artists guild is, is a small collection of craftspeople of Bundled together for trade, they pride themselves on being local dissenters of everything. We have already mentioned Owen. He builds the finest ships ever to set sail. The checkered cork is famous for its rustic character and ad attitude. Do not put off be put off by its apparent uncleanliness. Thanks for the heads up, yo. I don't see the murders. Does anyone want to give me a heads up here? Am I missing something important? This is the Minak Mine. There's the sawmill. Where are are there dead bodies that I am? Is anyone else seeing dead bodies? And I am not. It supposedly just happened, but it it apparently was already cleaned away. So I'm unsure what to do about this. There, I mean, everything seems in order. It's Sierra still kicking around. What do we have here? Just some shirts. I suppose it gets sweaty in there. And there are no, no bodies. Interesting. Nothing. Huh. So I have the sawmill is situated near the mine. The murders I don't get any information on. Oh, that's quite a lot of silver or serpent venom. They must use it. I'll have to ask him if I can buy it. Guy back at, at um the place wanted it. I also need to see if I can find a skiff. But before any of that, if we're not gonna have like a brouhaha, then I need to get catch some Z's. Okay, I don't know why I can't pop a Yui to save my life. Yeah. Adventuring shoppy. Is that a body or a person? I'm so confused right now. Too heavy. Too heavy my hat. Head. We have another, oh right, I need to check out your equipment there, Julia. Wow, you are carrying all of nothing. Townsmen, for some reason, just fall to the ground. Wow, you are decked out. That is quite the corset. It's like really reaching there. We have got to be carrying around some duds for you. I just know it. Sparky, you got anything? Anything at all kicking around here? Um, a ho you're using a hawk and a ham. I'm a little bit distressed, just you know, on your part. I don't know how we'll explain that. All right, we can hook her up with some stuff. She has a banana instead of a backpack and we're just not even gonna think about that. We have a shield. We gotta hook her up with some boots. A pair of trousers. It is what it is. At least she's got something. Shield, a sling. You get a sling under your belt just in case. It goes on your head, honey. I know it's been a while, but help me help you. So, is he miming murder? Like, what is going on? All right, so this is this is the whole thing. Oh, okay, what's over here? There's some planks. 
We've got the road on in. We've got a little road off this way, which leads to wherever this is, and whoever that is. So we have something to investigate in the morning. That goes to, it's not that I'm gonna play all night. Cause I won't, I will eventually sleep. The moon gate, okay. So that's all that does. Since I don't want to explode on, you know, like the poor mage there. <gasps> A cave! What? It? Oh, wow, okay. So let's save because we talked a lot. Got LB's boat, walk into Minak. I had expected to see a scene of the murder, but murder at the sawmill. I don't recall off the top of my head if I, that's something that could get cleared away before and so on. I guess I would like to say. What is with Cyclops? You know, am I right? Club in a sling. They're really into the cursing. Okay, I figured this is dead end. There's like a whole mining company just to the west, so it can be a very large cave complex. Wonder what's in it. Not much, just one lone cyclops catching some sleep, as I should be. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and camp out, and then we'll find out what that dude is doing in the morning. In his little tiki hut. I don't know if I can't sleep when there's enemies nearby. I can't seem to recall off the top of my head. How many hours shall we wake they? Let's do eight. Even though it's probably the solid. See? Creepy voice? So that you are strong and able to face the perils before you. Would you trust that? Pleasant dream. Because I do not. Rise the wolf, it's time to continue thy quest. So that goes with Iolo. Now he's probably gone on into town. I'm a bit hungry, good, because we have like all of the food in the world. We're actually trying to offload our food, it's so bad. I went a little bit nuts back in town on it. Sorry about that. Here, have a whole roast. Whole thing. Lots in the way of carrots. Found him on sale. I regret nothing. All right. So um, we already saw the gypsies. We saw most of what there is to be seen in the town. Oh wow, pack a headless. Well, we're fresh, so you guys are done. And the sad thing is you're not gonna have any sort of armor for a friend here. But she can probably, oh, she doesn't have a backpack. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a way around this real quick. She can probably carry a bag. Iolo has one of those, because bags take up a whole lot of room. They aren't particularly useful beyond that. I mean, they separate out your stuff, so we do use them a lot, but that'll be nice. Get that out of his um, inventory. Dead bodies are inconvenient to me. Won't fit, okay. But I bet that Iolo can carry more now. Does she have a shield? She should probably holster a shield. I thought that I holstered her a sling. For some reason, something must have happened to her hammer. And she just chucked her buckler, because why wouldn't you? Oh, she actually had to. Okay, well, which one of these is better? Is that a buckler? It is. We'll go with the wooden shield for right now. Not a thousand percent on it, but what's this? Britannian Mining Company. I was hoping it was an adventurer's shop. I don't think I could sell anything. Right, he's in charge of the Britannian Mining Company. And that doesn't, he didn't tell me anything. I was hoping I could sell you some equipment, but that looks right out. 
See a swarthy gypsy with soulful eyes dressed in colorful clothes. He looks like he has the weight of the world on his shoulders. I'm Yurgi, pleased to make an acquaintance. The king of the gypsies. My wife is a wise woman with some of the necessary talents for the future. I should speak with her. My people have almost completely dead out in the world. Now that I'm their leader, I'm making it their welfare my soul. Responsibility. Soon I'll decide if we'll leave Minoc. The people who came here because we thought we would be accepted, it seemed for a very long time that we were, but after these savage mur murders, it looks like it's time for us to roam once again. People who live to wander, but there are fewer and fewer places where we're welcome. We're victimized by ancient hatreds that have plagued our kind since the days of ancient Soceria. We've always been subject to prejudice of others. We're called these and worse. But the people we are people who only wish to play our music and dance and live in peace. I thought the people here understood this. Rodrigo is my only brother. And no one loved Tanya more than I did, save for Frederico himself. What happened to them was unspeakable. I wish I could tell thee more. If thou wishest, then I speak is to speak to Sasha, but only briefly. Now it's time for him to mourn. Son of Frederico and Tanya, he left us to learn more about the fellowship. Of course, he feels responsible for what happened. Sasha left to decide if he wants to stay with his people or return to the fellowship. I believe he'll make the right choice. We do not blame Sasha for what happened. We will not punish him. She was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. Both my brother and I were in love with her. We both tried to win her heart. I failed and thought I would spend the rest of my life with no one. It wasn't until last year I met my wife Margarita, and we were married. And we were married, and my secretly broken heart was mended. Some thought of my brother Frederico was a harsh man, but those of us knew him knew, we could, knew him could see that he was simply governed by the same prides and passions that rule all gypsies. May I still have much fortune in thine endeavors. See a young gypsy lad, he's wearing a fellowship medallion. His eyes look down and his expression is one of extreme sorrow. My name is Sasha. I'm too young to have a job. I'm a gypsy as my parents were gypsies. I'm also a member of the fellowship. My parents, Rodrigo and Tanya, were murdered. I do not know why anyone would want to harm them. Words check out of the, choke out of the boy. Suddenly he's overwhelmed by gr grief and unable to speak further. I've returned to be with Margarita and Yurgi to grieve my parents. Not to prove my joining the fellowship, but I know they're very concerned about their love for me just as I love them. Fellowship is a wonderful organization that's open to all the people. I've learned so much. Past week, I've been away from doing work. It happened at the sawmill in Minoc. Margarita is very wise and knows many things, but when I asked her if I should go back to the fellowship or stay with them, she did not answer me. Yergi was my father's brother. He's a good man and wise. Now he is the leader of our people. He will do what's right for us. Fellowship advances the philosophy of sanguine condition, etc., etc. A triad of inner strength. Hand of speech, worthiness, proceeds reward, of course I do, go to Balin, got it. Lad stoically turns away. Not much going on in here. And who oh okay, that's Yana. Or Yana, um, that's Julia. Okay, so we'll call it here. Um we have one heck of an adventuring party together. I'm having a hard time getting my stuff sold, which sucks. Um, oh, there's Minox. So that's town center. We must have been on the outskirts. I was hoping to find some place that I could do that. Um, so this must be the artisan's hall. Nobody seems like they're buying, though. Maybe at the armors. I've got a couple of trainers that I can visit to train up. I certainly have enough experience points, but I'll run out of gold fairly quickly. <laughs> Gladstone shakes your hand, treats you like an old friend. Oh, he's got some nice eggs. I remember that it was always craftsmanship here. Yeah, see, we can train, but we can't sell anything. Hmm. I may be of service to thee. Along with Karina, we train in the field of battle if one does not use one's head while using their muscles in danger. Oh gosh, who could use it? Probably Janna. Her eyes glow bright. He whispers Janna conspiratorially. I practically feel the shrewdness being absorbed. Look forward to their return. How about you, Karina? Frederico, leader of the gypsies, and his wife Tanya were good people. Why, the worst thing I could ever think of them that they did was a simple prank. Once Frederico threw a rock through the window of the local fellowship branch. Oh, well, I thought it was amusing. Shocking, such things do not normally happen here. It proves the value of knowing how to defend oneself. A teacher. 
Singular skill. 20 gold is actually really good. Um, probably spark. Karina leaps like a panther. She attacks. She lands her blows well. Leaves him reeling. He finds his reflexes have been sharpened considerably. Alright. So I can't sell my stuff. Um, Julia needs pants. Embarrassing. That's the town hall. And all I'm really going to do is pick up quests here. So let's go ahead and save. Um, I am in Ginger. This is what to play next. We are obviously doing the um, whole thing. Black Gate uh, Ultima. So these are much longer videos than I usually do. Um, we're curious about the hidden cave and we want to see if see a man about the skiff. Um, so yeah, we gotta go and figure out whether or not we can get a skiff to get into that cave. Because that looks majorly cool. Um, drop us a like and subscribe. We have everything that's awesome gaming. Generally we just do reviews or, you know, I'll let you drop in when we do a real fast beta. Um, I don't really beta for longer than 20 minutes. Maybe an hour nowadays. So, um, most of my videos are 10 to 20 minutes on beta testing. And, um, I just send the feedback back and so on. Um, unless I have, like, an actual job. In which case, a lot of that happens off camera. So drop us a like and subscribe. Find out everything about new releases, what's coming out. We do retro, we do adventure RPG, MMORPG, and just basically give you kind of an educated review on it. So thank you so much for watching and for coming along for the ride. And as always, much love.